Cagayan de Oro, officially the city of Cagayan de Oro, Cebuano, Dakbayan sa Cagayan de Oro, Filipino, Lungsod ng Cagayan de Oro, or simply referred to as Cagayan de Oro City, is a first-class highly urbanized city in northern Mindanao, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 675,950 people, it is a chartered city and capital of the province of Misamis Oriental where governance is independent and separate from the province. It also serves as the regional center and business hub of Northern Mindanao, Region 10, and part of the growing metropolitan Cagayan de Oro area, which includes the city of El Salvador, the towns of Opol, Alubajid, Laguindingan, Gitagam at the western side, and the towns of Tagalon, Villanueva, Jasan, Claveria at the eastern side. The city of Cagayan de Oro is located along the north-central coast of Mindanao Island facing Macajalar Bay and is bordered by the municipalities of Opol to the west, Tagalone to the east, and the provinces of Bukidnon and Lanao del Norte to the south of the city. According to the 2015 census, the city has a population of 675,950, making it the 10th most populous city in the Philippines. Cagayan de Oro is also famous for its white water rafting or kayaking adventures, one of the tourism activities being promoted along the Cagayan de Oro River. Etymology the name Cagayan de Oro, lit River of Gold, can be traced back to the arrival of the Spanish Augustinian Recollect Friars in 1622. The area around Himalogan, now Huluga, was already known as Cagayan. Early Spanish written documents in the 16th century already referred to the place as Cagayan. The region of northern Mindanao, which included Cagayan de Oro, was granted as encomienda to a certain Don Juan Grigo on January 25, 1571. It was then former vice president of the Philippines Emmanuel Pelaez who appended de Oro to Cagayan. There are also other places in the Philippines with the Cagayan name, these include the province of Cagayan in northern Luzon, the Cagayan Islands in the northern Sulu Sea, and the island of Mapun in Tawi-Tawi, formerly known as Cagayan de Sulu. History Classical period the area was first inhabited prior to 350 to 377 AD, the late Neolithic period, as proven by a skull found in the area by the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. The natives lived in a settlement then known as Himalogan, now known as Huluga, 8 kilometers from present-day Cagayan de Oro. The natives were polytheistic animists, Austronesian in origin with seafaring capabilities similar to the Bajayas. Their customs were closely related to the prosperous Rajanate of Butuan with rich Sri Vijayan Visayan, and Indian culture. They also wore tribal and traditional costumes and dressings having similarities to those found in Bali, Indonesia. Ceramics have been found in the area, Chinese probably having visited from the period of the Song to Ming dynasties. It was also possibly an old thriving port of the Srivijaya Empire with an overseas trading link to China, India and even to America. Colonial period Spanish period In 1622, two Spanish Augustinian Recollect missionaries came in contact with the natives of Himalogan and in 1626, Fray Augustine de San Pedro persuaded the chief of Himalogan, Datu Salangsang, to transfer his settlement down the Cagayan River, to the present-day Gaston Park. De San Pedro later fortified the new settlement against Sultan Kudarat's raiders. In 1738, Spanish dominance was felt in Cagayan de Oro. When Misamis gained the status of province in 1818, one of its four districts was the Partidos de Cagayan. In 1871, the Partidos became a town and was made a permanent capital of Misamis. On February 27, 1872, Governor General Carlos Maria de la Torre issued a decree declaring Cagayan the permanent capital of Segundo Distrito de Misamis. During this era, the name of the town was known as Cagayan de Misamis. In 1883, the town became a seat of the Spanish government in Mindanao for the provinces of Misamis Oriental, Misamis Occidental, Bukidnon, and Lanao del Norte. 
On January 10, 1899, Cagayan de Misamis joined the government of Emilio Aguinaldo and celebrated its independence from Spain. It was the second time the Aguinaldo government was declared and the new Philippine flag raised on the Mindanao Island. By virtue of the 1898 Treaty of Paris, Spain ceded the Philippines to the United States. This caused friction and resulted in the Philippine-American War. American period on March 31, 1900, Americans occupied the town of Cagayan de Misamis and on April 7, 1900, a battle erupted in the town center led by General Nicolas Capistrano and Filipino resistance fighters. This would later become known as the Battle of Cagayan de Misamis. The Americans won the war, and about 40 years later, gave the Philippines its independence on July 4, 1946. The war years in Cagayan de Oro were prompted by the presence of the Americans in 1898. The Americans were initially and successfully repulsed by the Cagayanans forces led by Mayor Don Apolinar Velez at the historic Battle of Macahambas on June 4, 1900. After the troubled years, peace finally brought back the economic activities to normality under the guidance of the United States. Consequently, from a purely farming fishing area, Cagayan de Oro emerged into a booming commerce and trade center. Japanese period and Second American period May 3, 1942, American and Philippine forces fought heroically against invading Japanese forces from Panay. Unable to resist the overwhelming and the better supplied Japanese, the Allied forces retreated to more defensive positions outside the city. The Japanese burned most of the city and took up residence at Ateneo de Cagayan University, now Xavier University and used the ferry crossing near San Agustin Church. The Carmen Bridge did not exist at that time. The Japanese Army implemented a scorch-earth policy. Filipino and American guerrilla forces fought back during this occupation and American planes bombed both the university and San Agustin Church on October 10, 1944. The Japanese were never able to successfully move outside the city for any length of time due to the constant pressure and attacks from the Philippine resistant movement. American and combined free Philippine forces landed in Cagayan de Oro on May 10, 1945, three years and seven days after the Japanese occupation. During this period the Japanese committed many atrocities against the local population of Cagayan de Oro, as they did throughout the Philippines. Colonel Fumio Suski and 200 of his men escaped capture during the liberation of the city and withdrew into the mountainous jungle. They were caught two years later, only 38 had survived but when caught they had been cannibalizing the Higonan tribal people. At least 70 people had been eaten. Independence period in 1948, the barrios of El Salvador and Molugan with their sitios known as Sala, Sambulawan, Sinaloc, Lagtang, Talaba, Calavelave, and Hinigdon were separated from Cagayan de Oro to form the town of El Salvador. In 1950, the barrios of Opol, Igpit, and Lower Iponan, now Barangay Bara, were separated from Cagayan de Oro to form the town of Opol. On June 15, 1950, President Elpidio Quirino signed Republic Act No. 521, which granted the status of a chartered city to the municipality of Cagayan de Misamis. This was made possible through the efforts of then Cagayan de Oro Congressman Emmanuel Pelaez. During the martial law era, Cagayan de Oro was not spared from military bombings and the usage of brutal mechanisms against dissenters of the Marcos regime. When martial law ended, more than a thousand people from the city were tortured, raped, electrocuted, or salvaged. Cagayan de Oro was then declared a highly urbanized city by the Ministry of Local Government on November 22, 1983. In 1986, the city participated in the People Power Revolution through rallies in the streets of the city. When the revolution succeeded and ousted Marcos from power in Manila, the city was among those who supported the installation of Corazon Aquino as president. In 1992, the National Museum of the Philippines recognized the archaeological value of Huluga when it gave the open site and caves separate accession numbers. In 1999, however, Mayor Vicente Y. Amano conceived the plan to bulldoze Huluga to give way to a road and bridge project. The project was stopped in 2001, but was eventually continued in 2002. 
the construction destroyed at least 60% of the archaeological site's open area, where the majority of artifacts can be found. Protests against the heritage destruction was made by cultural experts, but nothing happened with their plea. In 2003, the Heritage Conservation Advocates HCA went to the open area of Huluga for a scientific surface investigation and managed to find earthenware, Chinese pottery shirts, obsidian flakes, animal bones, an ancient Spanish coin, and a whale harpoon similar to those being used in Lomblin Island, Indonesia. The newly discovered artifacts prove that there are still many artifacts that can be found in the area. This caused the HCA to file a case against Amano and the contractor UKC Builders, before the Environmental Management Bureau EMB. However, the construction continued and was inaugurated in September 2003 by Amano. A day later, President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo made a speech in UNESCO about her administration's gains in cultural conservation. In January 2004, the City Council enacted an ordinance that authorized Amano to sign a contract with the Archaeological Studies Program ASP, of the University of the Philippines to do salvage archaeology in Huluga and vicinities. The program did not make Cooperid B linkages with existing archaeological programs from Xavier University. The ASP declared that the site was an ancient camp, not a settlement, due to their findings in the destroyed archaeological site. The report did not consider the findings of Xavier University. The issue later climbed into the Philippine Senate, where Lauren Lagarda issued a resolution for investigation of the matter, but the investigation was never approved by the other members of the Senate. The artifacts found in the Huluga Caves and its destroyed open site from 1992 to 2003 are housed in Xavier University, Capital University, and the University of the Philippines. On the evening of December 16-17, 2011, Tropical Storm Sendong, international name Washi, caused widespread flash flooding in northern Mindanao. In Cagayan de Oro, hundreds living near the banks of the Cagayan de Oro River were killed, with hundreds still missing. Officials said that despite government warning, some people did not evacuate. Five people were killed in a landslide, while others died in the flash floods which occurred overnight, following ten hours of rain, compounded by overflowing rivers and tributaries. Most of the victims had been sleeping. In some areas, up to 20 centimeters of rain fell in 24 hours. More than 2,000 were rescued, according to the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, and at least 20,000 people were staying in 10 evacuation centers in Cagayan de Oro. Officials were also investigating reports that an entire village was swept away. The confirmed death toll from the disaster is 1,268. In January 2017, Cagayan de Oro, along with other parts of Visayas and Mindanao, was impacted by a combination of a low pressure area and the tail end of a cold front. The heavy rain inundated many streets, stranding many commuters. At the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines, USTP, about 900-1000 students were trapped as most of their campus was flooded. The students were forced to climb to the upper floors of the school's buildings and wait until rescue arrived. The city's shopping malls on Claro M. Recto Avenue were also severely affected, with Limkatkai Center completely inundated by the floodwaters. A basement parking area of a mall at the corner of Corrales Street was covered with water, while another one near Bidin Ag Creek was flooded as well, even though the area was elevated. On December 21, 2017, Typhoon Vinta, international name Temban, impacted most of Mindanao. It made its landfall in the Davao region. Three bridges were closed due to rising water levels in Cagayan de Oro, where 1,719 individuals were forced to evacuate. Roughly 30,000 people were either stranded in ports or stayed in evacuation centers while 22,000 people moved to higher grounds due to heavy flooding. Geography Cagayan de Oro is located along the north-central coast of Mindanao, the second largest island in the Philippine archipelago. The southern part of the city is bordered by the provinces of Bukidnon and Lanao del Norte. The municipality of Opol borders the city on the west and Tagalone, Misamis Oriental to the east. To the north lies Macajalar Bay facing the Bohol Sea. 
Its total land area is 488.86 square kilometers representing 13.9% of the entire Misamis Oriental Province. It includes 25 kilometers of coastline and a harbor, Macajalar Bay. 44.7% of Cagayan de Oro is classified as agricultural land, while 38.4% is classified as open spaces. The city is frequently categorized and referenced according to geographic factors. The first district, west of the Cagayan River, consisting of 24 barangays which are mostly suburban, and the second district, east of the river, made up of 17 barangays, including city proper barangays numbering from 1 to 40. Climate Under the Köppen climate classification system, Cagayan de Oro has a tropical climate with an annual average temperature of 28 degrees Celsius. In June 1998, the city recorded its highest temperature to date of 39 degrees Celsius. Cagayan de Oro does not receive an even amount of rainfall throughout the year. The driest months are March and April while August and September are the wettest months. The rainy or wet season lasts from June until November with the relatively drier seasons lasting from December until May. The city lies outside the typhoon belt but is affected by the intertropical convergence zone. Demographics as of the 2015 census, the city has a population of 675,950, making it the 10th most populous city in the Philippines and third most populous in Mindanao after Zamboanga City. About 44% of the household population in Cagayan de Oro classified themselves as ethnically mixed people, 22.15% as Cebuano, 4.38% as Boholano, while 28.07% as other ethnic groups. 2000 census. Religion Roman Catholicism is the city's dominant religion, represented by almost 70% of the population. Other religious affiliations include the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Iglesia Ni Cristo, the Philippine Independent Church, the United Church of Christ in the Philippines, Christ's Commission Fellowship, Baptists, the United Methodist Church, Jesus Miracle Crusade, and Islam. The Archdiocese of Cagayan de Oro comprises the three civil provinces of Misamis Oriental, Bukidnon, Cumagan and the entire Caraga region. It is a metropolitan seat on the island of Mindanao. The current Archbishop in Cagayan de Oro is Most Reverend Antonio J. Ledesma, S.J., D.D., who was installed on March 4, 2006, and his seat is located at St. Augustine Metropolitan Cathedral. Recently, the Basilica of the Black Nazarene in Quiapo Church decided to move the replica statue of the Black Nazarene to Jesus Nazareno Parish Church in Cagayan de Oro along Claro M. Recto Avenue, so that the Black Nazarene devotees from Mindanao do not have to travel to Quiapo in Manila for their annual pilgrimage. Protestant missionary activity in the city started in 1916, although have grown in numbers in the recent decades. One of the known Protestant groups in the city is Pentecostalism, which dramatically increased with 2.8% in total population about 20 churches have settled in the metropolitan area. Celebration International Church has one of the highest member attendances with a record of 735 members. In addition, three main Pentecostal mother churches are situated in the suburban area and few in the metropolitan areas. Also, Adventists, Mormons, and Methodists have also grown in numbers within the suburban areas. Islam is practiced mainly by Maranao settlers and the Balik Islam members. There are several large mosques and about 50 small mosques that can be found in the city. Masjid Sharif Alawi in Barangay Baluling is the largest mosque in northern Mindanao, with over 3,200 square meters in land area, which also includes a madrasa and seminar building. During Eid prayers, Pailaa Sports Complex is a known place for hosting the Salat al Eid. Buddhism and Taoism are practiced by majority of local Chinese. Languages Mindanao Cebuano is primarily the spoken language in the city. Tagalog Filipino serves as the city's secondary language. English is mainly used for business and in the academe. Maranao is widely spoken within the city's Maranao communities. Economy 
Cagayan de Oro is the regional center and logistics and business hub of northern Mindanao. The city's economy is largely based on industry, commerce, trade, service and tourism. Investment in Cagayan de Oro City for the first six months of 2012 reached 7.4 billion pesos outpacing the local government's expectation of to nearly 100%. Investments in the city are dominated by malls, high-rise hotels and condominiums and convention centers. The net income for 2012 pegged at 2,041,036,807.89 pesos. Cagayan de Oro is home of the multi-billion peso fuel import facility of Pilipinas Shell Petroleum Corporation, dubbed as the North Mindanao Import Facility (NMIF). In 2012, the U.S. Agency for International Development (USAID) chose Cagayan de Oro as one of three pilot areas in the country for its city's development initiative. USAID's projects under the USAID's Cities Development Initiative CDI, are the Strengthening Urban Resilience for Growth with Equity surge, project aims to help cities to plan better, create more attractive and competitive business environments, link urban and rural centers so that more citizens benefit from rapid economic activity, and provide adequate health and other basic social services. The INVEST project, a three-year initiative of the USAID, building low-emission alternatives to develop economic Economic Resilience and Sustainability or BLEADEARS project. Big industries and homegrown industries Cagayan de Oro is the home of multinational companies, like Del Monte, Nestle, Luewe Marketing Corporation, goes by a more well-known name, Oishi, Unipace Corporation, a multinational company carrying the Gaisano Group, Philip Morris Fortune Tobacco Inc., PMFTC, Madison Shopping and Supervalue, Inc., runs all SM malls and Savemore supermarkets and also into heavy manufacturing and distribution. Bank industry Cagayan de Oro, as the regional economic center of northern Mindanao, houses the Cagayan de Oro branch of the Banco Central ng Pilipinas Central Bank of the Philippines. As of December 2017, at least 100 banks are operating in the city. Automobile industry Cagayan de Oro has been dubbed as the auto hub in Mindanao as car brands like Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Isuzu, Mitsubishi, Suzuki, Ford, Kia, Photon, Mazda, Chevrolet, BMW, Peugeot, Hyundai, Subaru, Cherry, Jinbei, Tata and Hino have set up dealerships in the city. Most of the car showrooms are located along the Iligan Cagayan de Oro Butuan Road. Man has their CDO showroom at nearby town of OPOL. Monarch Equipment has one hectare equipment yard in El Salvador, Misamis Oriental, which is just 16 minutes drive away from Cagayan de Oro. Auto hardware and car accessory stores for all types of cars and vehicles are abounding in Cagayan de Oro. A long stretch of auto hardware stores for parts and supplies are located along Osmina Street. Real estate and construction supply industry National and international companies have started building high-rise and mid-rise hotels and condominiums in Cagayan de Oro, such as Limcacay Lux Hotel, Seda Hotel, New Don Pension, Centrio Tower and Aspira Towers under Avita Residences, Primavera Residences and Primavera City under Atalpinas Corp., The Loop under Vista Residences, Mesavert Residences under Cebu Landmasters Inc., CLI, Tucania Towers, One Providence, One Oasis under Philinvest Land Inc. Major real estate developers in Cagayan de Oro are Ayala Land, A. Brown Inc., Xavier Estates, Camela, Crown Asia, John Dorf Ventures Corp., Pueblo de Oro, Robinson's Home Inc., Land Asia Realty and Development Corp., Zilip and Tuscania, Liberty Land Corp., Philinvest Land Inc., Cebu Landmasters Inc. and Megaworld. The newest to join these is Bria which develops the socialized housing brand Lumina Homes and the economic low-rise condominium Bria Flats. 
Retail Industry Limkakai Center which has two shopping malls, Limkakai Mall and Robinson CDO Mall, host many flagship tenants which include two Robinson supermarket branches, on both malls, one inside Limkakai Mall's South Concourse and another at the second floor of Robinson CDO Mall. Then there is also Shopwise Supermarket at the East Concourse, another Robinson Supermarket standalone branch in Barangay GUSA, standalone department stores, Robinson's, SM, Daisano and Oro Rama, two SM malls, one at SM City Uptown and then the SM2 Downtown Premier, Ayala Centrio Malls, which host flagship tenants Rustin's Market and Robinson's Department Store, Daisano City Malls, large grocery stores, 24-hour convenience stores, 30 outlets of 7-Eleven, several local stores of Chams and Grams, Mercury Drug and Rose Pharmacy convenience stores, offering local and imported products. Stores owned by local, national and foreign Chinese, Taiwanese, and Korean businessmen, are abounding in the city. Gas refilling stations as sub-sector of retail are all over the city. These are distributed by Shell, Cultex, Patron, Blue Energy, Phoenix, Jetty, and Geo Gas. Business Process Outsourcing Business Process Outsourcing BPO, in Cagayan de Oro is booming due to ample supply of human capital supported by available health, research, educational, and modern telecommunication facilities. At present, business process operators in the city are Concentrix Corporation, Ryder Livid Bucknall, RLB, Teleperformance, Aspired, Invision, Ariba Telecontact Inc., Accolade Resources Inc., Support Zebra, and Versatel. The increase of business process outsourcing companies in the city has led to new buildings and zones dedicated for contact centers. These new buildings are all PEZA registered. Cooperative Business Cagayan de Oro is home to cooperatives which provide employment, economic assistance, and considered as one of the prime drivers of the city's economy. The Extension Office of Cooperative Development Authority of the Philippines, located in the city as the center of Northern Mindanao, Region 10, provides technical advisory services, regulatory services, and online application processing. It is also the location of Mass Spec, the Cooperative Development Center, a federation of cooperatives in the Philippines. The big names of cooperatives located in CDO are FICO which has become a billionaire cooperative covering the entire of Mindanao, Oro Integrated Cooperative, constituting a development force of more than 100,000 strong members of farmers, fisherfolk, women, workers, vendors, drivers, government employees scattered in Cagayan de Oro and the provinces of Misamis Oriental, Bukidnon and Tagbalaran City who are now engaged in small and micro enterprises, a CDI multipurpose cooperative prefer Third brand of financial services in the armed forces of the Philippines, Asian Business CableTow Cooperative Academy ABCCA, Inc., provides access to and quality of education for the less privileged students, CFI Community Cooperative, Coop Life Mutual Benefit Services, Climes, Life and General Insurance Cooperative owned by over 2,000 cooperatives in the Philippines since 1971, Oro Savings and Sharing Cooperative, Cooperative Bank of Misamis Oriental, with 260 68 cooperatives and Samahang Nayan as member incorporators. Culture and arts There are several notable events in the city. Each barangay or barrio has its own feast locally known as fiesta, or festivals, honoring their patron saints after achieving recognition in their own rights. The Higalai Festival, formerly the Cagayan Festival, then the Higalai Cagayan Festival, is a weeklong celebration in honor of Cagayan de Oro's patron saint Saint Augustine held every August. Highlights of the Higalai Festival are the Kahamunan Trade Fair, which features the native products of the city and province, particularly agricultural, Miss Cagayan de Oro, folkloric street dancing competition featuring colorful attires and cultural dances of the Higonan tribes, Higala's Parade of Cagayan de Oro icons and floats, Halad Sa Lambagahan, P.E. Rhythmic Dance Competition, Kalo Festival and Kumbira, a culinary show and exhibit that started in 1996 by Kage Anand's hoteliers and restaurants. It has since evolved over the years and now hosts a culinary competition among students and professionals from all over Mindanao. The competition is divided into students and professionals where hotel and restaurant management schools and professional chefs compete against each other in their respective categories. There are also cultural shows, competitions and celebrity concerts. 
In more recent years, some of these competitions have been replaced with new ones, such as the Folkloric Street Dancing Competition, which was replaced by the Cagayan de Oro Carnival Parade in 2014. The annual religious tradition of the Feast of the Black Nazarene in Cagayan de Oro City is held every January 9 by having a procession called Traslacion, in which hundreds of thousands of devotees participate. Cagayan de Oro is one of only three sites in the country to have this Traslacion. Himugzo, which means birth, is a week-long celebration of Cagayan de Oro's Charter Day and Philippine Independence Day. Cagayan de Oro's cityhood was established on June 15, 1950. Independence Day is the national commemoration of the Philippine Declaration of Independence from Spain on June 12, 1898. Both Charter Day and Independence Day are non-working holidays and a roster of special activities is lined up annually to mark the dual special occasion. RODELSA Hall, operated by Liceo de Cagayan University, serves as a center for the performing arts. Concerts of many genres have been performed at RODELSA. Cine Europa films featuring European Union's cultures which include Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Czech Republic, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Hungary, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Romania were shown at RODELSA. Xavier Center for Culture and the Arts XCCA, part of Xavier University, commissions and hosts culture and arts programs Filipino and foreign, classical and contemporary. Cuisine Cagayan de Oro food cultures include a variety of world cuisines influenced by the city's immigrant history. Western and Austronesian immigrants have made the city famous for pastel bread, chicharan and hamon de Cagayan. Some mobile food vendors licensed by the city sell street food like quek quek, fish balls, tempura and proven and grilled meat. Cagayan de Oro has local, national, and foreign-owned restaurants, Chinese and Korean cuisines, eateries, fast foods, snack bars, bake shops, and coffee shops that sprout all over the city. Sports Cagayan de Oro is the home of the Cagayan de Oro Stars and Cagayan de Oro Rapids basketball teams. This major teams of the city is member community of Mindanao Visayas Basketball Association, an amateur commercial basketball league in southern Philippines sanctioned by the country's National Sports Association for Basketball, the Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas SBP. It is also the home of Wholesome Moneygram Misamis Oriental and Wholesome Price Pharma, which commencing the Misamis Oriental Province. Aside from basketball, Cagayan de Oro is known for its oldest lawn tennis clubs like the Golden Friendship Tennis Club. In addition, the city is ornamented with amateur volleyball teams like the Xavier University Volleyball Team. The city was known for its leading sport, chess, one of the most common recreations by continuing championships in Mindanao since the 1990s. White water rafting and kayaking have annual sport events through the Cagayan River. Sport venues include one of the biggest sports complex in Mindanao the Pelaas Memorial Sports Center, Xavier University Ateneo de Cagayan Gymnasium, Liceo Civic Center, University of Science and Technology in Southern Philippine Gymnasium and others, a sports and entertainment complex that also hosts concerts. The Pelaas Memorial Sports Center serves as the home complex of Misamis Oriental sports teams. Cagayan de Oro's new indoor sport is go-karting. The Speedmaster Go-Kart Race Track at SM City Car Park Building was the first race track in the city and in Mindanao. F1 Go-Karts will be the second facility of its kind in the city and the first to use electric cars. Tourism Due to the national government's aggressive tourism campaign, local and foreign tourist arrivals in the city are on the rise. In 2004, the city registered a tourist arrival of 307,820, an increase from a previous of 232,257 in 2003. As of 2012, City Planning and Development Office was able to record a total of 550,249 tourist arrival. Museums 
City Archives Museum is a museum located inside the old water tower built around 1922, near St. Augustine Cathedral and across from Gaston Park. Recently, it was upgraded into a museum that houses antiquities, memorabilia of well-known families in the city and a gallery parade of Cagayan de Oro history. Gen. MacArthur Memorial Marker is a historical marker located near the port of Cagayan de Oro. The monument commemorates two historical events. Museo de Oro is a museum located within the main campus of Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan. The museum exhibits artifacts dug from Huluga Caves and repertoire of Bukidnon, and the Maranao cultures that have survived the ravages of time. Museum of Three Cultures is a museum of Capital University. It houses a gallery of Maranao antiquities from Tugaya, Lanao del Sur, a gallery of ethno-history which shall display Cagayan de Oro history, Butuan archaeological artifacts, Lumid arts and crafts from the Higonan and Manobo cultures, and a treasure of Christian's lowland artifacts of northern Mindanao region, and finally an art gallery and coffee shop that promotes the local visual arts of Mindanao. It also has a research archives that will house Spanish-era written documents, photographs, memorabilia of well-known personalities in Mindanao, which is open to all researchers and students of culture. La Castilla is a museum of the Philippine household heirlooms and antiques. This is the Pelaez family memorabilia administered by the Liceo de Cagayan University. DXCC Museum is a museum of a well-known radio broadcasting station in the Philippines called RMN DXCC located at Don Apolinar Velez Street. Executive Building Old City Hall used to be known as Casa Real de Cagayan. It was a former Spanish governor's residence and seat of present-day local government officials. MOGCHS Administration Building was part of the 1907 Gabaldon initiatives to establish and build public schools all over the Philippines under the Americans' regime. Casa del Chino Ygua was built in 1882 by the Sia family, they were the first Chinese migrants in Cagayan de Oro. Most of the revolutionaries died and buried behind the house during the Philippine-American War. Makahambas Cave and Adventure Park is a cave with a 130-foot circular gorge. The ravine is thick with various species of plants and huge trees. It is the site of the historic Battle of Makahambas Hill between Kage Anans and American soldiers during the Philippine-American War circa 1900. S. Huluga Caves, is an archaeological site in Sitio Taguanao, Barangay Indahag. Huluga Caves is composed of an open site and two caves where skeletal remains of a child and woman were found. A fragment of the woman's skull was 377 AD by the Scripps Institution of Oceanography in La Jolla, California, United States. The open site is the venue of a prehistoric settlement. Hotels Recent data from the Department of Tourism show that Cagayan de Oro is among the top 20 most visited tourist destinations in the country. As a result, international hotel chains are attracted to put up their hotel accommodations in or near the city. Drive-in motels are also available in the city and these are mostly located in Kauswagen. Infrastructure Transportation as the gateway to northern Mindanao and the rest of Mindanao, Cagayan de Oro is accessible via land, air and water transportation. Main public transportation systems within the city are metered taxis, jeepneys with fixed routes, and motorellas within Poblacion. There are also a couple of river taxis that ply down to the Cagayan de Oro River for both locals and tourists. Ports the port of Cagayan de Oro in Macabalan is located near the estuary of the Cagayan de Oro River. It has an anchorage depth of 18 meters and is around 400 meters from the shoreline. It has four large gantry cranes and the biggest international and domestic seaport in Mindanao. It handled 1.399 million metric tons of cargoes during the first quarter of 2016 to rank third in the country after Manila's North Harbor with 5.557 million metric tons and MICT with 3.746 million metric tons. 
The port of Cagayan de Oro increased its volume of cargoes by 9.7% from 2015. This is according to data from the Philippine Ports Authority PPA. The port of Cagayan de Oro, Macabalan Port, serves regular trips to and from cities of Metro Manila, Cebu City, Tagbilaran, Bacolod, Dumaguete, Iloilo City and Jagna, Bohol. General Milling and Del Monte Philippines also operate their own port facilities within Cagayan de Oro. The $85 million Mindanao International Container Port located in nearby town Tagalone 17 kilometers from Cagayan de Oro serves the PHIVIDEC industrial estate. This city's sub-port connects Mindanao to the ports of major cities in Visayas, Batangas, Metro Manila and the rest of the world. Airport Cagayan de Oro's Laguindingan Airport CGY, declared recently as the seventh hub of Cebu Pacific Airlines, handles domestic flights to and from Manila, Cebu City, Iloilo City, Davao City, Bacolod, Zamboanga City, Dumaguete, Tagbilaran, and Clark in Angeles City. It sits on a 4.17 square kilometers, 1.61 square miles site in Barangay Moog, Laguindingan, Misamis Oriental, some 46 kilometers, 29 miles northwest of Cagayan de Oro. The airport was inaugurated on January 11, 2006 by then President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, who advocated the idea of an international airport along the Cagayan de Oro Iligan corridor and was officially opened on June 15, 2013. Laguindingan Airport is accessible by various modes of transportation provided by several transport operators from CDO and vice versa. These are ALPHAT Airport metered yellow taxi, regular metered taxi, and several shuttle express vans that run on an hourly basis Magnum Express with its terminal at Limkatkai Center, LAX Shuttle with its terminal at Ayala Centrio, Odyssey Airport Express with its terminal at SMCDO Downtown Premier, CAGATRANSCO, Glorimer Transport, Donzels Express, JTS, The Lord's Transport Services, Europcar, Super 5 CDOTRA NSCO, Numano Express. All have booths near the parking area at Laguindingan Airport. Bus terminals There are two bus terminals in the city, the eastbound integrated bus terminal also known as Market City and the westbound integrate bus and jeepney terminal. The eastbound integrated bus terminal Agora, also known as Market City offers regular land trips to and from eastern municipalities of Misamis Oriental or eastern part of Mindanao including Balingon and Gingug, Carmen, Nasipit, Butuan. Change buses travel to Surigao City, Bukidnon including central or southern portion of Mindanao such as Malaybalay and Valencia, Davao City, Cabacan, Takarong and General Santos. The westbound integrated bus and jeepney terminal also has regular land trips to and from western municipalities of Misamis Oriental or western part of Mindanao including El Salvador and Laguindingan, Iligan, Marawi, Tangub, Ozamis, Dapitan, Dipalag, and the rest of Zamboanga Peninsula including Pagadian and Zamboanga City. Public Utilities Water services are provided by the Cagayan de Oro Water District COWD, the first water district established in the entire Philippines. The bulk water supply, a supply agreement between COWD and the contractor, has a total production capacity of 198,262 CUMPD, and comes from treated water from Cagayan de Oro River, the main water source of the city. Electricity in the city is provided mainly by Cagayan Electric Power and Light Company CEPALCO, and partly by Misamis Oriental First Rural Electric Service Cooperative Moresco 1. Cagayan Electric Power and Light Company CEPALCO. CEPALCO, which began operations in 1952, covers almost all of Cagayan de Oro and the municipalities of Tagalone, Villanueva and Jasan, all in the province of Misamis Oriental, including the 3,000-hectare PHIVIDEC industrial estate and caters to more than 100,000 consumers. The company S distribution system network includes 138,000 volt, 69,000 volt, 34,500 volt and 13,800 volt systems. CEPALCO 
S power supply is mainly coming from embedded power generators, namely, 165 megawatts coal power plant of Minergy Power Corporation in Balangasag, 46 megawatts diesel power plants of Minergy in Tablin, 8 megawatts Cavulig hydroelectric power plant in Claveria, 7 megawatts Bubanawan hydro power plant in Bongon Libona, Bukidnon, 12.5 megawatts Karan solar power plant in Villanueva. CEPALCO is also operating the developing world's first and largest, at the time of its inauguration in 2004, on-grid solar photovoltaic power plant. The 1 megawatt polycrystalline silicon-based photovoltaic PV plant in Barangay Indahag of this city is connected with the distribution network of CEPALCO. It is the biggest solar power plant connected to the power grid in Southeast Asia. Misamis Oriental-1 Rural Electric Service Cooperative, Moresco-1, whose office is located in Laguindingan covers remote parts of Cagayan de Oro. These are Barangays Canatoan, Pagatbat, San Simon, and Vikingon. Telecommunications are provided by PLDT, Philcom, Masortal, Globe, Smart, and Sun. Law and Order Cagayan de Oro is the regional base of Philippine Air Force, Philippine Army, and Philippine National Police in northern Mindanao. The Philippine Air Force is using Lumbia Airport as its air base which is currently operating a service equipment of OV-10 Bronco aircraft as well as U-1 Huey and MD-520MG Defender helicopters. This will be a future home of the 15th Air Strike Wing that will be moving out from Sangli Point in Cavite. The Philippine Army operates the largest military camp in Mindanao located in Barangay Patag with an area of 129 hectares. It is home to the 4th Infantry Division of the Philippine Army. Camp Evangelista's external jurisdiction covers the northern Mindanao and Caraga regions. Minor military camps are also located in Barangay Lumbia and Upper Puerto. The Philippine National Police also operates its regional headquarters at Camp Alagar in Barangay Lipasan. Camp Alagar has jurisdiction over the entire northern Mindanao, namely the provinces of Bukidnon, Cumaguen, Lanao del Norte, Misamis Occidental and Misamis Oriental including its major cities, Cagayan de Oro and Iligan. Recently, PNP, AFP and spearheaded by LGU of Cagayan de Oro formed a new integrated security force of the city known as Task Force Oro. The local government of Cagayan de Oro upgraded its emergency services as it launched on Monday, October 30, 2017. Dialing the 911 number will immediately link the call to CDRRMC. The city patterned its improved emergency response program after Davao City's Central 911 Emergency Call. CDO's 911 will utilize computer aided emergency response. Cagayan de Oro is one of the three locations in the country where the Judiciary's Court of Appeals is holding office. The Court of Appeals of the Philippines is the Philippines' second highest judicial court. Cagayan de Oro's Court of Appeals has three divisions covering all of Mindanao. Medical facilities Cagayan de Oro has a hospital bed to population ratio of 1 to 474 as of 2003. The Justiniano R. Borja General Hospital, a.k.a. City Hospital, the Camp Evangelista Station Hospital, Phil. Army, and Northern Mindanao Medical Center, formerly Provincial Hospital, are the three government-run hospitals. Capital University Medical City, Polymedic General Hospital, Polymedic Medical Plaza, Maria Reina Xavier University Hospital, Cagayan de Oro Medical Center, Madonna and Child Hospital, Sable Hospital, Puerto Community Hospital, and Maternity Children's Hospital and Puericulture Center, formerly Oro Doctor's Hospital, are privately owned. A special medical facility for drug abuse treatment and rehabilitation is the Department of Health Treatment and Rehabilitation Center Cagayan de Oro located at Upper Puerto, Barangay Puerto. Many of these government-owned and privately owned hospital facilities have undergone expansion, renovation and modernization. Education 
The city has four major private universities, colleges, Capital University, Liceo de Cagayan University, Lourdes College Cagayan de Oro, and Xavier University, Ateneo de Cagayan. The University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines is the only state university in the city. Other higher education institutions include Southern Philippines College, Pilgrim Christian College, Cagayan de Oro College, St. Mary's Academy of Carmen run by the RVM Sisters, Informatics Computer Institute and STI College, Cagayan de Oro with a secondary education program in Barangay Causwagan. There are also a number of foreign schools in the city with study programs. Notable public and private elementary and high schools include Cagayan de Oro National High School, Misamis Oriental General Comprehensive High School, GUSA Regional Science High School, X, City Central School, St. Mary's School, Corpus Christi School, The Abba. S. Orchard Montessori School, Mary Child School, International School, Vineyard International Polytechnic College, and Montessori de Oro. There are also schools in Cagayan de Oro that use the accelerated Christian education system. Two of these schools include Cavite Bible Baptist Academy CDO Branch, and Shekinah Glory Christian Academy. There are two Chinese schools in the city, Kong Hua School, Roman Catholic, and Oro Christian Grace School, an evangelical Christian school. There are two international schools run by Koreans, namely, Nanori International School and Emmanuel Mission International School. Media Notable media publications in the city are the Mindanao Gold Star Daily, Sunstar Cagayan de Oro, and Super Balita. Ang Katarungan is the city's major English Cebuano language paper published since 1926. Brigda newspaper Cagayan de Oro is the most popular newspaper company in the city. Mindanao Business Daily and Businessweek Mindanao are two business publications of Businessweek Mindanao Group of Publications. In local television, famous local produced shows were from ABS-CBN TV 2 Cagayan de Oro that broadcast not only in the city but it reached whole northern Mindanao and even southern Bohol and Caraga region. Morning show like Pamaha Especial and local news program TV Patrol North Mindanao. Also, GMA Northern Mindanao contributed to local flagship news program One Mindanao simulcast over GMA Davao, that broadcast in the whole Mindanao. Local government Elected and appointed public officials have governed Cagayan de Oro since June 15, 1950, with a strong mayor-council government. The city political government is composed of the mayor, vice mayor, two congressional districts representatives, 16 councillors, one Sangguniang Kabatan SK Federation representative and an association of barangay captains ABC representative. Each official is elected publicly to a three-year terms. The following are the current city officials of Cagayan de Oro. House of Representatives 1st Legislative District, Representative Rolando A. U. Y. PDP Laban. 2nd Legislative District, Representative Maximo Rodriguez, PDP Laban, CDP, Mayor, Oscar S. Moreno, LP. Vice Mayor, Rainer Joaquin U. Y. LP. Barangay and Legislative Districts. Cagayan de Oro is politically subdivided into 80 barangays. These are grouped into two congressional districts, 24 barangays in the 1st District west, and 56 barangays in the 2nd District east, with the Cagayan de Oro River as the natural boundary. The city has a 57 urbanized barangays and 23 rural barangays all in all. Notable people Pia Wurzbach, Miss Universe Philippines 2015, Miss Universe 2015 Maria Isabel Lopez, Binibining Pilipinas Universe 1982 Elizabeth Baroya, Binibining Pilipinas Universe 1992 Mark Bautista, singer, songwriter, theater actor Aquilino. Nene. Pimentel Jr. Former Senate President Aquilino. Coco. Pimentel III, Senate President under President Rodrigo Roa Duterte 
Milan Melindo, professional boxer. CISO Morales, professional boxer. Jason Pagara, professional boxer. Albert Pagara, professional boxer. Maricar Reyes, Filipino actress. Martin Andaner, Secretary of the Presidential Communications Operations Office under President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Sherry, member of Viva Hot Babes. Jojo Lastimosa, PBA player, retired. Philip Panaomagan, professional basketball player, PBA, NLEX Road Warriors. Giovanni Jalalon, professional basketball player, PBA, Star Hotshots. Carlo Lastimosa, professional basketball player, PBA, NLEX Road Warriors. Rain Nambatak, professional basketball player, PBA, Rain or Shine. John Carlo Casino, professional basketball player, PBA, Rain or Shine. Marydale Entrada, Pinoy Big Brother, Lucky Seven Big Winner. Aegis Singer. International relations Twin towns or sister cities Cagayan de Oro has sister cities worldwide including local, as classified by the city government. Lawndale, United States 1986. Tainan City, Taiwan 2005. Harbin, China, 2007. Norfolk, United States, 2008. Guangyang, South Korea, NA. Quezon City, Philippines, NA. Surigao City, Philippines, 1984. See also. List of renamed cities and municipalities in the Philippines List of tallest buildings in Cagayan de Oro Gallery References External links Official website of the city government of Cagayan de Oro Cagayan de Oro Development Updates LGU Performance Management System Cagayan de Oro Encyclopedia